இது வந்து லாங் கேன்சர் டிஃபெக்ட் பண்ணுறது வெயிட் பண்ணுற கொஞ்சம் டைம் ஆகும் so i have been in the computer field since my fourth grade yeah, i started it out purely from curiosity i started computers from c and i worked my way through nearly 17 programming languages so i did multiple projects and products such as customer segmentation lung cancer detection ca- uh, like multiple cancer detection softwares management systems book management system so right now i have for a couple of years i've been concentrating on the new blooming technology of artificial intelligence so using artificial intelligence i have b- done multiple real time products so in my 9th grade so during my holidays between my 9th and 10th i identified a problem that i was facing like i have i recently bought my new computers with a really high spec but i faced a problem of having um, a laggy browser even though my computers were really fast i even switched from 4g internet connection to a 5g so to see if i have any improvements in my speed but then i realized that was not the issue so during i had a month holiday between my 9th and 10th grade so i thought of researching deep into this and pondering on what is exactly happening so i did a research for about 2 weeks and then i came up with a solution that is it's due to uh, the memory consumption of the browser so i planned on building a product for this and i plan on making a solution for my own problem so that's why i came up with my solution which is called swift surf so this swift surf is a technology which uses ai to make even your old computers as fast as new one i've tested it out with computers which are running it running old processors with swift surf and compared it to the latest next gen computers which are running in very high which has super high gpus and cpus and they have given very stabilizing results neck to neck results so after this like uh, i also plan on making uh so right now it's also available in Clo- uh, chrome web store so right now uh, i've given it to multiple people so i have like supplied it to my whole community to test it in everybody have felt the visual difference apart from the metrics itself so this uh application so it doesn't use any of your personal data or any of your privacy uh, data it runs in the background doesn't uh, disturb you at all and it barely takes up any space in your com- space or memory in your computers so up until now people think that it's all based out of your storage and right there were a lot of boosters and etc who just deletes your temporary files which run behind your computers just to boost up your sp- computer but they don't do anything that is happening in the real time in the real time there's always data accumulating which cannot be stopped by these methods such as deleting your temporary files in real time in a live system you cannot do so so this product it's it just runs in the background without dwelling anything through your temporary files that is what it uh yes so like these methods that pe- people are previously go, uh, think that just clearing your data storage and etc might uh, bring speed during that period of time but then when you're running an actual application when you're uh, real time uh, when in real time you're running a chrome or web browser it doesn't improve it at all because during the process it also accumulate data which is not dealt by the previous native boosters but swift surf uh, uses ai to actively reduce this uh, tension which is provided by the uh, browser on the system 
and it doesn't heat uh, over over do, uh, overuse your processor or your ram it all it it completely work on the pro, uh, software side of your system so viruses can be a major problem because they run multiple benchmarks on your system which could overuse your processors so they could cause uh, m- multiple issues but most of the viruses are caused only due to us giving permissions uh, for them to enter the system so about 90% of the viruses come through our system only through our sources which we make them enter permissions which we give to the system like through pen drives through installing unwanted applications with our own risk and etc